Capricorn, welcome to your tarot reading for mid-February. We begin with the Nine of Pentacles in the past position. This suggests a phase of accomplishment and self-sufficiency. You've likely experienced a period of material success, stability, and independence. This card really reflects a time when you were enjoying the fruits of your labor and feeling quite secure in your achievements. In the position of how you felt about yourself in the past, we have the Seven of Swords. This can indicate that you may have felt a sense of deception or deceit, either from others or within yourself. You might have been wrestling with feelings of guilt, secrecy, or dishonesty. This could have been a really challenging period where you questioned your integrity or the integrity of others or struggled with trust issues. The other possible reading for this card is sometimes this card shows up and it's more about strategy where you recognize the way you were doing something wasn't working. So you decided to look at it from a different angle and come up with a new strategy that ultimately serves you better. So I'm going to have to read the energy of the rest of the cards as we move along here, but it's looking like either something to do with your material success, your career. It may have recently involved a situation where you felt like there was some deceit or trickery um, on part of someone else, or you realize that the way you've been doing things wasn't working and you've, you've come up with some new strategies. In the position of what you have learned, we have the world card. This card symbolizes completion, fulfillment, and a sense of unity with the universe. You have learned important lessons from these past experiences and, and gained a broader perspective on life. This card signifies that you have reached a significant milestone in your personal growth and you're now more enlightened and aware of your place in the world. In the position of your current circumstances, we have the Eight of Swords. This suggests a feeling of being trapped or restricted by your own thoughts and beliefs. You may feel mentally imprisoned or stuck in a situation where you kind of see no way out of it. But it's essential to recognize that the limitations you perceive are mostly self-imposed. And there are opportunities for liberation here if you can change your perspective. This figure can very easily get herself out of these binds and remove that blindfold. So it's very much a card about understanding why you're allowing yourself to wallow in these, these self-restricting beliefs and it's an urge to get yourself out of that. This card is urging you to do so. In the position of new influences that are about to enter your life, we have the Ace of Wands. So this is a really nice card in this position because this card represents new beginnings, inspiration, and creative energy. It's indicating that exciting opportunities and fresh ideas are on the horizon for you. They're, they're ready to ignite your passion and drive. So be open to new experiences and trust in your ability to pursue your goals with enthusiasm and determination. This card is really about taking action on, on something that you're excited about, some kind of new idea. In the position of how these new influences will affect you, we have the Tower card. This card foretells sudden and, and quite disruptive change. And while this may initially seem alarming or chaotic, it ultimately serves as, as a catalyst for transformation and growth. These new influences will, will shake up your current circumstances. They'll break down old structures and beliefs that no longer serve you. It's saying embrace this period of upheaval as an opportunity to rebuild your life on a stronger, more authentic foundation. In the position of your outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. So this signifies an ending or a painful transition of sorts. It suggests that you may face betrayal, loss, or a difficult conclusion to a situation in your life. However, it's essential to remember that this ending paves the way for new beginnings. And while it may be challenging to let go, trust that this closure is necessary for your growth and evolution. And I'm very much getting the sense from these cards here. This is a necessary change. 
And remember that you have the resilience to rise above adversity and emerge stronger than before. And I always have to point out with this 10 card, it's it's such a foreboding image, but you always have to remember the, the sun rising on the horizon in the background here. And the fact that this is a 10 card, meaning that whatever it is that you're going through that's causing you distress, you are at the end stage of it now. You're at the lowest point, meaning things can only really go up from here, and they will. That sun is rising on the horizon. This cycle is coming to a close, meaning you're you're about to move out of that energy. So this reading's really indicating that there's a period of significant change and transformation happening for you this month, this mid-month. And while you may encounter challenges and upheaval, just remember that these experiences are opportunities for growth and renewal for you. So really trust in your inner strength to, to navigate this. For your moonology card this mid-month, we pulled the new moon in Virgo. And it says, a time to give rather than take. So when this card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of your situation. Where are you and where do you want to go? The new moon energy of this card suggests a restart. And the Virgo energy suggests that you make a re your restart a clever one that's simple and well-organized. Very Virgo energy. Virgo also has a strong health aspect to it. So if you've been unwell, this card suggests that your health is on the up now. Virgo loves clean eating and alternative therapies, so add these into your routines now, however you've been feeling. If a situation is blocked at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things or being too critical. It's time to ask less what someone else can do for you and to think more about what you can do for others. So this card is really urging you to recommit to healthy routines. It's saying that gradual improvements are coming. It's saying also to pay attention to detail if you want success and to focus on being of service to others and love and money will follow. So I'm definitely getting the sense from this moodology card that there is this energy of a restart coming in for you. This card is all about approaching that new beginning with the detail-oriented organization of the Virgo energy. So I think whatever has, has come to an end here is about to come to an end. It's really giving you an opportunity for a new start and allowing you to use this kind of clever thinking that is part of this Seven of Swords card to your advantage now. I think that's, that's kind of what I'm getting from this card now is that you experienced material stability and well-being in the past. Maybe you're struggling with a, a bit of blockage around that now, and you're, you're trying to come up with some new strategies to help you tap back into that, that abundant energy you felt in the past here. I think you may have been overthinking things a little bit. There's a lot of um, restrictive mental energy in this reading. I think there's some kind of new idea that's about to come in that's going to bust you out of this energy. And the tower is a tough card to see, but in relationship to the two cards above here, I kind of like it. It's, it's to me, it's giving this energy of, of busting you out of this self-imposed limitation energy that you've been stuck in a little bit. And it's paving the way for some kind of new beginning where you're going to be able to really apply this kind of strategic thinking and make a new start for yourself based on some something you're really excited about. And this Ten of Swords coming in as, as the outcome is saying, we're, we're done with this now. We're breaking out of any self-limiting beliefs and we're about to start on something that we're really excited about where we get to apply our strategic thinking and, and have a really new fresh take on life. And I think to, it's good to really take in this message of a time to give rather than take. So maybe whatever this new thing is that you're thinking about has to do with serving other people. And there's nothing like thinking about other people 
and how you can help them and serve them. There's nothing better than that to get you out of this kind of self-focused, self-limiting energy. Get yourself out of that by thinking, how can I help the people around me? I think there's something about this, this new idea or project you want to start on that has to do with really helping other people around you. So that is your reading for this mid-month. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.